In this video, I'm going to show you a content curation tool that will save you a ton of time. So one of the great things about the internet and the fact that just about any of us can create content is that there's a lot of content and most of us, myself included, consume quite a bit of that content. One of the problems, however, is that that content is distributed in kind of a really weird way. So for example, if you want to watch a video, maybe you go to YouTube. Or maybe if there's a particular writer you like to read, you go to his or her blog. Or if there is somebody who you like on a particular topic who has a podcast, you have to go to that podcast app on your phone. But realistically, this is very counterintuitive to actually consuming content in a way that actually saves you time. In reality, it would be a lot nicer if you could just pick a topic and then regardless of the type of medium, whether it was a video or an article or a podcast or a blog or whatever type of content it was, or even a tweet, it would be great if instead of having to go to whatever platform or medium that houses that particular content, what if instead you could just go to one place and then quickly skim through all the videos, the articles, the podcast episodes, the tweets, the email newsletters that are specific to that particular topic. Well, fortunately, such a tool does exist and I just recently started using it and it's called Feedbin. And apart from cutting out all the clutter and all the noise that is so inherent with pretty much every social media platform on the planet, it has saved me a ton of time. Rather than having to keep open a ton of bookmarks all over the place, instead it's just one feed or a collection of feeds that are specific to a topic that I can just scroll through and access really quickly. Okay, but that's say enough of an explanation. Instead, let's go ahead and pop in here and I will quickly show you some of my favorite features which have made Feedbin a regular part of my daily workflow. Okay, so here we are within Feedbin and it's gonna look pretty familiar. It's kinda like your email inbox and you've got all these unreads, although unlike email, there's probably going to be a lot more unread unless you're one of those folks who have thousands of unread messages in your inbox, which I'm not judging you, but uh, in this, you're going to be getting, unlike email, you're going to be getting pretty much everything you're subscribed to in one unread section, at least to start with. You can also go up here and you can see items that you've starred, or you can even see items that you've already read included with the ones that you have not. But as you start adding subscriptions, this is going to get kind of crazy. There's going to be a lot of items in here. And so what Feedbin enables you to do to start with is to create a number of these tags. And I just personally use these for specific topics in which I have interest or that I have a lot of content that I'm reading or consuming. So as you'll be able to see here, if I were to drop down, here are all the specific things or feeds to which I am subscribed. So a lot of these are blogs. This one is an actual podcast uh, and a number of different sites in general. But let's go ahead and pop into an item here. So we've got this particular news item, uh, which is from a particular site that I like to read. And so this is just a link to a particular article. But one of the things that is so powerful about this particular platform is that you can actually, rather than having to click this, right, and it takes you over to this particular site where you can actually read the article, you can actually click, you can hover and then click on these three dots and then click extract content. And it's going to extract that whole article so you can just read it in this super reader friendly and eye friendly format. And then when you're done, you can just close it out. If it's something you want to go back to, you can star it. And then of course you can pop on over and see all the items that you've starred. You can also share this very easily. And a number, you can also mark this as unread if you want to organize it that way. But this way you can just go through these. I'm going to unstar that and you can just very quickly read them and if it's something you're interested in, or you can even just kind of scroll because I've got a lot of items that show up here throughout the course of a day. So I can just go through, skim which ones I'm interested in and those that I am not. And then if I do find something that is interesting, obviously I can just use this tool to view it real quick read it and then go back on my way. I never have to leave this. I never have to see any ads and it's super simple. So now let's take a quick look at just how easy it is to actually add a new feed to Feedbin. So let's say for example, hey, you like this particular YouTube channel. Let's go ahead and copy the URL to my YouTube channel. Go down here to click add, paste it in 
Give Feedbin a moment to figure out what that is. You can give it a new name if you want to. You can create a new tag or you can go ahead and add it to one that already exists. Or you can leave it uh, without a tag, click add. And then as you can see, it's added this particular YouTube channel down to this section. So then what I could do whenever there's a new video that comes out, you don't have to worry about the comments if you don't want to, you can just see the video along with some of the, uh, the, the description. And then right there within Feedbin, you can go through and you can start watching that video. Or if you wanna access the YouTube page, you can, you can actually just click the title and there you go. So for YouTube, this has been especially helpful for me because I've got hundreds of channels, it feels like, to which I'm subscribed. However, there's just a select few that I want to pay attention to pretty much every new video that comes out. And so by being very specific, which with, with which items I want to add or see regularly, I can just make sure that those particular channels get added into Feedbin. So similarly, maybe you follow thousands of people on Twitter, but maybe there's just a few select people that you want to hear from regularly. So let's go ahead and copy that real quick. Add that in, click paste, and then click add, and there you go. Now you've got tweets that are showing in here as well. And they even tell you whether or not they're a retweet as well. So you can follow Twitter feeds right alongside everything else. The other thing that Feedbin does is they provide you this newsletter email address that is specific to your account so that you can actually subscribe to email newsletters and keep your email address clutter free. So for example, if we're going to go to tmtv.link slash newsletter if you wanted to for example sign up for my newsletter but i just went ahead and subscribed and now any of the email newsletters will show up in feedbin alongside everything else so obviously you can add in here sites so any rss feed or any site can be added in here but i also mentioned podcasts so if you wanted to you can just paste in the podcast episode or the podcast feed just as i did the youtube channel or tweets or a website and then you can actually listen to this right here with inside of Feedbin. And so right now it is actually playing and you can stop it. So it's got a little player and you can even download it if you want to as well. Okay, so obviously I've just been demoing this on my laptop, but the cool thing is that it's also available for iOS or for really any web browser, mobile or desktop as well. And the cool thing is that you don't even have to download an app. The mobile version of the site is pretty amazing. And I've only tested it on an iPad and an iPhone, but I'm sure it works great on an Android as well. So you can just pop in here and you can actually just see that same user experience, except for that sidebar is kind of the first thing that you see. And then you can go in here and access any of these items the same way that you would be able to on the desktop version. So you can go through and pick a specific topic and then scroll through it and read it and go through all those items just as we saw in the other version. Now I'm just doing this right here within my web browser. What you can also do is at the bottom center, you can click the share button, scroll down and you'll see this item that says add to home screen. And then you can just keep the same name, click add. And then you'll have Feedbin in kind of a standalone browser, which operates just as though it were its own app. There we go, logs me right in. And I now have Feedbin as a web app that I can access super easy. And that's Feedbin. Just so you know, I am not sponsored by Feedbin in any way. This is just something that I found actually a while back and came back to using it again more recently and found some of the updates that they had worked into it. It's super fast and plus it works with Twitter and pretty much any type of feed under the sun, including YouTube, as well as podcasts and blogs and kind of what you would be used to. So as always, if you found this video useful, hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.